test that, that showed that the valve needed re repair immediately. St. Elizabeth saved my husband's life. You have five blockages, you need open heart surgery. I thought about what the future would be like, you know, for all of us, for us four kids, and now there's grandkids, and my mom, and um, you know, the big things that you think about, um, like walking down the aisle with your dad and him being there to hold your baby. I went to sleep knowing I was going to die. They brought my kids in and my family and um, told all them goodbye. It was the best possible place I could have wound up. Heart and vascular health is probably the number one health issue in America today and has been for many, many years. It is the number one killer of Americans and Kentuckians. About every half a minute, somebody has a heart attack. And about every 40 seconds, somebody has a stroke. It is the number one problem in the state, and we wanted to do something special to address it. So the establishment of the heart program to begin with in Northern Kentucky was a major boon for the community. And as the years have gone by, we have been, again, very proactive in staying at the top of what heart care is about. Our outcomes here are, frankly, the best in all of greater Cincinnati and compared to the best all around the country. And that's what we feel is our obligation to our community. We want to make sure that they have that type of service right here in their backyard. As a Catholic health care ministry, we provide comprehensive and compassionate care to improve the health of the people we serve. The Heart and Vascular Institute is going to embody that mission. Our goal is to reduce heart-related deaths by 25% in the next 10 years in the Northern Kentucky community. It's a laudable goal, but I think it's an achievable goal. It's a very comprehensive program. It's going to be of, certainly of the highest clinical quality. We will have the latest equipment, the latest technological advances, all the clinical uh, experts in one facility, in one location, so that they can collaborate together and do a seamless care for the patient in terms of all their patient's needs. This will involve an integrated care model. And th by that I mean a system by which the right patients will get the right treatment by the right doctors for the right reasons. The most important thing uh, is to be able to help as many people as we can help, to reach those who are sick and suffering and make a difference. Clearly technology is, is an element of healthcare which is incredibly important. And part of the challenge uh, for the practitioner and for the organiza healthcare organizations is to determine which technologies are actually worthwhile and provide value to the patients. Having a robotics program as part of a heart and vascular institute sort of com completes and rounds out uh, all facets of cardiac care. It allows us to, to offer all of the operations that the patients would typically need. We have expanded uh, our uh, cardiac electrophysiology uh, program to be able to perform complex ablations as well as simple ablations to help those patients with cardiac dysrhythmias. We'll have everything in one place. There'll be great continuity between uh, outpatient testing, uh, inpatient environment, heart catheterization, uh, and all uh, other types of cardiovascular care. And we believe that we can get people through the testing and, and inpatient stays that they need and get them out more quickly and more efficiently, but with the highest level of care, uh, and that will ultimately decrease costs. The second piece is a major health and wellness prevention program. Unfortunately, Kentucky has a very high obesity rate, a very high smoking rate, and those are major contributors to heart and vascular disease. So we're going to do a lot of prevention and wellness and education, and so we're going to have teams of people that will help monitor patients' care outside of the hospital to ensure they're taking their medications correctly, that their diet is being done properly, that they're doing the physical activity they need to do, and so on. We have to focus on prevention and wellness. To me, that's a very core component of any healthcare system. As a result of the generosity of our community, we were able to purchase a cardiovascular mobile health unit. The mobile health unit allows us to reach communities in Northern Kentucky and Hamilton County to provide screening activities. We could go out into the community and get people to come into the van that would not normally go for these tests. We were picking up disease very early and preventing complications, preventing strokes, preventing heart attacks. We've also begun to develop um, and enhance the offerings that we provide on education for heart-related diseases. The third piece is research. Well, we will do clinical trials with pharmaceuticals, 
we'll do clinical trials with new uh, modalities of how we uh, operate and deal with heart disease and how we do other medical procedures. With a, an organized institute where you have a team approach, then physicians will funnel patients in that they think might benefit from something new where the standard technologies aren't working. And it really leads, it's the communication between physicians which is going to make research begin and evolve. We'll have a collaboration of other hospitals around the country that we will be working with. St. Elizabeth Healthcare has a history of always focusing on patient care and making the patient the universe of healthcare delivery. And what we want to do with the Mayo uh, affiliation is to raise the bar, raise the level of care quality and care outcomes to a world-class organization like Mayo. The Mayo Clinic is recognized as a global leader in healthcare. I am honored to be part of an organization that is a member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. We're here to take care of patients and their families. That's the one simple message that every associate, every physician, board member, volunteer and organization truly understands and remembers. We have to do what's best for our patients and their families. And we're very proud of the fact that we have literally hundreds of thousands of people who support St. Elizabeth Healthcare. But we cannot afford to do all the things that we would like to do. The project will be costly, but not prohibitive. And our hope is that community members will, will participate in building it with us. It allows Northern Kentucky to grow and develop, to, to bring in more people, to bring in more business, more industry. Everybody wins. We have um, thousands of employees or associates of St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Um, they have families, they have children, they have parents, they have siblings, they have friends. They are all part of this community. So for, for me, whenever I think about healthcare, it's not just for that vague group of quote community that's out, out there. It, it really is about everybody that stands beside me every day in our workplace. By adding a true heart and vascular institute, we can allow the patients more ease of care, better access to, to the type of care they need. And, and investing in it allows their children to have that. It's very important to our community that we're a part, and it's very important to us that our community is a, is a part of us. And so working together, um, we can raise the money that's needed, and we can put together a great Heart and Vascular Institute for Northern Kentucky, and I'm super excited about that. I wanted to make life for the people with cardiovascular disease longer, safer, more enjoyable. My ultimate goal is to have the patient come back to see me in the office and say thank you for, for helping me feel better. So I can breathe, I, can't, I can chase my granddaughter down the hall. I, uh, I don't get winded when I walk up a flight of steps. I don't feel badly when I, when I get up and move around. And that's, that's what we want. I, want. I want them to be able to enjoy their lives with their families and do what they want to do um, to live life to the fullest. We want to be able to give all that we have every day, every time. My passion and our passion is quality care. We're going to all try and work together to give the best care we can. It's our duty and our passion to take care of those patients and make sure that they get the best because that's what they deserve. I'd say the care had to be pretty special. The people at St. Elizabeth uh, care a lot about not only their patients but the community. Having them be able to advance that here will, it will definitely, I know it'll save a lot of lives. I know that they saved my life. That's you, that's me, that's us. We are, we are all the foundation of St. Elizabeth Healthcare.